What's up, Vault Hunters? It's Echo here, Queen of the Loot Goblins, bringing you another Borderlands 3 video. Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to be talking about the newly changed Sandhawk, Kaisen, and Yellow Cake. We all know that they got a nerf in the last patch, and I wanted to do some testing on the builds that I use and see if they're still worth using. So first, let's look at the Sandhawk. So for the Sandhawk, they've removed two projectiles, they've increased the shot cost from two to three, they've increased accuracy spread, they lowered lifetime projectiles, and they've increased projectile speed. So let's see how this holds up against Angel of Death. Uh, we're on Mayhem 10, true, true Vault Hunter also, by the way, if you guys are wondering. And <clears throat> I would say the Sandhawk is still pretty viable. I would say if I had like one, sh like a a one shotter, if I beefed it up a little bit more, I would say we could probably get some one clips. It eats ammo. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing it on um, anything but bossing. Bossing, it's good though. We'll keep it, we'll keep it. I don't think I threw my nade at him either last time. Let's go! We did it! I knew we could do it! Let's go! Well, it's not affecting... The Sandhawk is not affecting Bomber most. Let's go! Really wish I had a full auto, but... This... He would be melting right now. The Sandhawk's doing really well. He would be melted. If I had a full auto. Whatever. Sandhawk's doing great. Burst fire or not, it's doing great. I like it. He would be, t he would be gone, though, with a full auto, I think. Final thoughts on the Sandhawk versus Angel of Death, Bomber Mose, and Photon Fleck. They all three get a thumbs up for bossing. As far as mobbing, it consumes more ammo now and runs out very quickly. The only way that I would suggest mobbing with this weapon is bringing a cut purse. I also use the Sandhawk versus the new bosses in the Guardian takedown. So yes, the Sandhawk is definitely still viable with all of my builds. Next, I want to look at the yellow cake. So for the yellow cake, they've changed damage scaling and they've split projectile damage decrease. So when the yellow cake does its like bounce and splits off, they've decreased the damage from that. So let's see if that actually affects it and if we're going to use it in our build or not. Let's try the yellow cake. I also want to try the yellow cake on bossing as well. Alright. Help a lot. All right, let's try to one shot him again. I mean, we're not getting a one shot, but I would still say it's pretty good for bossing. I mean, no hassle. I would say it's good. A lot of builds to go through. Now oh, this is a 390. I don't rec 
recommend using the yellow cake on Moe's to begin with because the blast radius is so, 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 so big. But it seems to be doing well. <clears throat> Cake's working fine. Cake's fine. So, final thoughts on the yellow cake. It's great with every single build. I don't recommend it on Bomber Mose. It's, um, Bomber Mose is focused on the Minesweeper. It doesn't hit so many crits it's it doesn't drop a lot of mine sweeper micro grenades um and also the blast radius is so big you you're liable to down yourself but as far as like mobbing or even bossing with photon flak or angel of death it's very great and the last gun that I wanted to review today with all of our builds is the KSN. I've heard so many bad things about the KSN that it just tickles enemies or it's not very good. So let's put it on the Angel of Death and the Minesweeper, Bomber Mose, and even Photon Flak. And let's try it out and see how well it infuses with our builds. So for the KSN, what they did with that is accuracy, impulse increased, max accuracy increased, critical damage reduced and base damage reduced it looks like it took a hard hit but let's see if it actually still works with our builds okay so like the KSN's good like i don't know what people are talking about at least on angel of death at least on angel of death it's good like i do i really need to test anymore <laughs> i just kidding we'll keep testing the annoyment that I have on the gun is um, is 100 ASC. I mean, it's still one-shotting. It's still one-shotting. KSN's good. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make the assumption that KSN's... Uh, KSN's still viable. Is it three bar? Okay. I mean, I'm pretty satisfied. It's another bad. So. Alright, so first thoughts on the KSN, we're liking it. I mean... Uh, the KSN is 100% viable. You can tell that the accuracy is a little bummed, but it's 
a little... You could tell. It's not so pinpoint, but... It's... It's doing great! I was doing great, Flack people! What are you talking about? It seems to me like y'all need to... You need to check out a Photon Flack. You know what I'm saying? Final thoughts on the KSN. I will still be using it on all three of these builds, Angel of Death, Bomber Moe's, and Photon Flak. The KSN seems to still be melting like normal. You can tell a little bit of the accuracy and you can tell there is a decrease in um, the damage output, but other than that, it's still really great. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the cartel weapon review after a round of nerfs. All the weapons seem very viable on each one of my builds right now, so I'm very happy for that. I was a little scared, especially with the KSN getting nerfed so hard, but every weapon seemed fine, um, and we're still going to use them in our builds. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I am going to be starting a weapon review on my channel of if they buff m weapons or nerf weapons. I'm going to kind of take you through my builds and if they're viable with my builds or if I'm going to incorporate the new buffs into my builds. So be sure to hit that sub button if you haven't already to see more of these videos. Please take a moment right now and hit that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you want to catch these videos live, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash jaded echo underscore or subscribe to my YouTube channel and be up to date with each video.